Hey, Louvren, and welcome back once again to Strategic Mind Blitzkrieg. This is a special bonus episode brought to you by my Patreon supporter, Pumnural. With that said, let's get started. Take a look at our handsome face one last time. And... Let's just see... I can go for airstrike. That seems to be the most useful thing here. So let's do that. Sure. I'll probably not use it, but it doesn't matter. And okay. Uh, they all trigger overrun upon defeating the enemy. Maybe it's useful. Maybe not. I can actually get that to the level 2. Sweet. All right. Um, let's take a look at the units. All of the units can get upgrades, but let's first increase the overstrength, whatever we can. There, there. And I'll take a look at the infantry because, uh, I mean, it's nice to have false Jaeger, but when we're gonna invade, it probably they'll already be on ships, so uh, I don't think I'll need them like that. Let's take a look at their equipment. So let's start quickly with the trucks, which are okay. Flamethrower, naval warfare. Mm, you know, let's let's all give them flamethrowers. Because I think we'll be doing some serious um, city combat in uh, in New York, obviously, uh, or Washington. Mm. Yeah. Also, they do need to be two hundred and ten millimeters. I don't see any reason to have the this one. Since my units do have the trucks anyway. Flamethrower, flamethrower, flamethrower. Flamethrower. Where are you at? And flamethrower. There we go. The Messerschmitts are all fine. Uh, it's funny that they're overstrength. 14 current level one out of seven overstrength is 14 mm. <laughs> that's weird doesn't matter all right let's see here we can upgrade it to the king tiger and for them it's pretty cheap just plus two soft attack six hard attack one air defense for hard defense so uh, it's a uh, Strict upgrade. It also gains Overwatch Heart, which is super good. Bam. 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 And bam. Let's see how that looks for the Panther. Because they do have one less movement, but like this has to be worth it right like it's expensive but, but let's go there we go hmm i also have a bunch of prestige left so let's purchase some new units i mean i actually think it's probably best to invest in artillery at that point, um, hmm. seems like this one is fairly cheap. Uh, let's go and bam, bam, then cost the thing. Which is nice. Definitely going for mobile and deadly. Uh, yeah. 
Whoop, there we go. Next. Hmm. Not super interested in getting new infantry. The problem with getting new infantry is that they will have only two stars of experience, and I'm quite sure that whatever units they're going to throw at us will have a lot more. Um, so that's just generally not, not something that I'd be looking forward to at this point. Uh... I think as many of these as I already have, I'm interested in getting another one. There I go. Definitely extra reach, mobile. Over strength. Let's give him sappers. The anti-air radar. Savage is just more or less for fun, and initial ammunition is pretty good, but mm, plus three at air attack during night time. Yeah. I also don't think I'll be needing that external fuel tank. I think we're, we're, we're probably good in supplies. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> uh, sure. I want to... Bam, bam. These are quite cheap. It's like 60, wow. Yeah, let's do it. Mm. Like I said, they're probably still good against uh, infantry in the cities and stuff, so. Right, I'll get them. There we are. I have a bunch of artillery, it's crazy. Um, yeah. The Spitfire is free, but yeah. Not super great, so never mind that. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep the rest of the prestige if I have to repair units. Let's see what Dönitz has to say about our upcoming invasion of the United States here. I still can't believe this is happening. We've conquered all of Europe, from the English Channel to the Ural Mountains. But now, it could all come crashing down because of one madman in power. I know little of land engagements, so all I can do is wish you luck. Godspeed, General. You are Germany's last hope. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, hmm. Battle for Berlin? Hmm, that's really weird. It must be a mistake. That's really weird. Huh. Surely Gerung is not the best candidate for the head of state. Yet I thought him to be better than Hitler. As he spoke of peace. Unfortunately, I was mistaken. Goering does not want peace. He's a clear proponent of terror. My men have found undeniable proof that Goering was at the head of the resistance. He ordered the assassination of the Fuhrer. Goering is not just a hypocritical politician. He's a criminal. It seems our new Fuhrer is no better than his predecessor. I suspect he used the whole Wehrmacht and you personally to his own ends. He needed you only to get to power. I felt that he was not to be trusted. But I hoped he still had some decency and honor left in him. Friends, when you return to Berlin, you immediately be arrested. 
They are preparing a court which will judge you, Meinstein, Rommel, and Guderian on accusations of organizing the assassination of Hitler. Then you will all be publicly executed. This despicable scoundrel cannot be allowed to rule our great land. Dark times are coming for our country. Germany must be governed only by people of honor. Those who put the well-being of the German people above all else. The time has come for the army to intervene. Politics is not what a true officer should be preoccupied with. My sacred duty is to serve Germany and its people. The only person who can put Germany in order in this time of peril is you, Halder. The army and navy will support you. Your authority is undisputed. How can we allow a greedy and power-crazed wannabe Fuhrer to rule our country? I think you must take power and control into your own hands. Well, we have bitten our enemies in Europe. Now we have to defeat our last enemy in the very heart of Germany. The situation forces me to make this difficult decision, Canaris. So we're in, in London Assemble or something? all the combat ready troops and occupy Berlin. Hmm. Wonder what uh, Halder has to say about this. It's not gonna like it. Or uh, Gurry, <laughs> not Halder. France, we have an incoming call from Berlin. I believe Gehring wants to have a word with you. Patch him through. Halder, you disgusting, good-for-nothing, scheming, two-faced traitor. How dare you turn against me? You are a treasonous snake, damn you, a snake. I fight for the German nation's future, Reichsmarschall. And right now, the biggest threat to it is you. When I supported your takeover, I expected to see practical and considerate leadership. What I got in turn was you've proven yourself to be no better than Hitler. I will not stand by as you erode the foundations of our nation in the name of your greed and ego. Well, let's see you try, Halder. There are plenty of troops loyal to me. They will nip your little rebellion in the bud. If they are not enough, I'll drive the entire population of Berlin to the barricades down to the last schoolboy old enough to hold a rifle. And when all that is finished, I'll personally hang you from the Brandenburg Gate. Uh, uh, Wilhelm, any updates on my officers? Where is he keeping them? They are held at the Gestapo headquarters in northern Berlin. Security there can be described as excessive. Oh, and Franz, my agents among the new Führer's inner circle report he has recently signed the execution order. We might already be too late. If that happened, Goering wouldn't fail to bring it up, trying to destroy our morale, make us angry and therefore prone to mistakes. We must not let it happen. Our old comrades in arms are alive, I'm sure of it. However, every moment we waste may prove fatal, and right now we need to free them as soon as we can. Besides that, we must prioritize going after Goering's main weapon, the Air Force. To that end, we must take the airports of Berlin, the northern, the northwestern, the southwestern, and the southern one, Berlin Tempelhof, which is also the city's largest. If we secure air supremacy, we can easily deal with the new Führer's ground forces. Luckily, a considerable number of the Luftwaffe aces are on our side. In the skies above Berlin, Goering's pilots will meet their match. Franz, the German Navy stands with you, but I imagine that would be little comfort to you during a land invasion. Do not worry, Carl. Somehow we'll manage. We'll help any information on the enemy's numbers. As expected, the majority of the SS units have remained loyal to the new Fuhrer, especially those who were involved in the heaviest punitive actions on the Eastern Front. 
They know they won't escape judgment if they leave their leader's side. Hitler did not trust the Wehrmacht, so he turned those security forces into a private army, and now Goering is in command of it. Those soldiers have superior equipment and are absolutely ruthless to boot. So that's where all the newest armaments went. Doesn't matter. Equipment is not where the battle is won. My troops have fought this entire war against enemy soldiers, not partisans or civilians. Goering is in for a rude awakening. Gentlemen, this is the day of reckoning. Begin the operation. All right, we have to free the officers, turn four, and capture the airfields, which is, you know, limitless, but they'll probably take most of the time. We can only deploy forces on this side, so we'll have to... I have to get there very quickly, so I'll have to get some of my most powerful units uh, up there. Uh, I really don't think there's any other choice. I also then need powerful infantry uh, up here too. Um, let's take a look at some of the these guys here too then and then I'll pump or uh, put some artillery there. Mobile artillery since they need to move. At least for a force and this too seems empty. Hmm. Infantry has no real, or those guys have no real business being there. Um, let's go there with a regular tank. Then here, basically, I can deploy the AA on the next turn. And you, two infantry, artillery, artil oh. artillery, 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 and two tanks. I could also deploy something there. Let's go for Puma. I already have a recon there for the moment, so that's fine. Infantry, infantry, artillery, artillery, oh, those aren't artillery pieces. Artillery, artillery. Tank. Tank. Artillery. Oh. Oh, uh, this uh, is the planes? Yeah. So, let's go back up. And, uh, yeah, I do have an airfield there. Okay, so let's take a look at which units are most powerful. One. Uh, two. Three, one, two, one, two. It's for the bombers. I'll put Rudel here. But the other ones will very likely just go back into uh, the airfield for now. Until the skies are cleared a bit. It's unlikely, yeah, I cannot deploy any other units, at least for now. Um. 
Okay. Experience doesn't really matter anymore, so all that's left is, you know, trying to kill as many units as fast as possible for this mission. Two, three, four, five. That doesn't do anything. Uh, what will do something is uh, this. Let's actually undo it. I want to use Blitzkrieg for this turn since you know I need to get uh, further along. far do you get the supplies? Pretty far up till there, so that's not too bad. Uh, they cannot even get in there. But you can. I mean, I need to get there within five turns, so... This is... Very likely the furthest I'll go for this turn, and then next turn I need to get pretty close there. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Funny that... Uh, do they have overrun actually? So, no. Okay. Hmm. What, there was already 3%, huh? Wow. Uh, interesting. Kill them. And they'll just take over the uh, supply hub. Now, they could attack there, but I wanna. Yeah, I'll not get information on their number. But these guys deal so much damage that that worked out quite well anyway. Let's move them there, they're relatively safe in that position. Doesn't make it that much nicer, but I think it's okay. a bit don't want to get into a, an ambush or something but it doesn't seem like there's anything here uh. so 
So I'll just do this. can do is I can turn on the War Fremen. No more ammo. Uh, oof, okay. That's, uh, that's okay. Nothing to be done about it. Um... Don't have that great of an intel here, though. But this should be fine in terms of movement. Yep. Still, this I. It seems like there is no unit in there. Uh, so it would make sense to put something else in there. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give these guys uh, some different equipment because I think they are better off. Uh, just doing something like that. I'm not gonna send them into plane, so uh, might just as well make them useful. And also, you know, do stuff like that. Equipment. There we go. And I have the prestige for it as well, so I, I think. It's better if they can make themselves useful like that uh, while I'm advancing into the city. Do they not have a line of fire from here? Still go in there. And only one, eh? No. This uh, also gives me an overrun against them at least. And I can no longer move with you. 
That's a problem, though. That's so strange because uh, they need a new target. Right. Well, they haven't attacked yet. Ah. Let's move back a hex, no reason to get all frisky. Uh, it would have been nice to also deal with them, but uh, we'll, we'll see how these things go. Seems to be a lot of artillery. Hmm. Well, it's funny if uh, that kind of stuff doesn't get revealed yet. Do they not have, uh... Oh, they have spaced armor, really. Wow. <laughs> well, that sucks. There I was thinking that they would have had the wolf from him. Um... I guess I'll have to use my other units there. Definitely using the artillery on units like that. Kill them. The um, tricky part, as usual. is knowing where to or how to position your units with five and seven they do get quite weak Really, um, ugh. Let's do that. 
and ideally I'll put you up in front too because this is a, a bit of a problem there um, do you still have the tiger I can also deploy you Funny that they cannot do extra movement. That's not actually funny. Them. This uh, attack puts me at 10%. Uh, uh, I've cleared a lot of enemies, or at least infantry too. Um, so I, I think that's also pretty useful. I mean, you, you gotta kill them at some point anyway, so uh, that's kind of nice. So don't wanna um, leave too many units. I'm actually quite curious as to how powerful their Air Force will be. One, two, three, four. Oh. Mm. Yeah, let's move away there. Land 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 and land and now I have a bunch of units that should probably fear for their lives for at least that first turn I should really try to keep the artillery in the back. They, can they attack from here? Nah. Not really. It um, is, I think, also really up for debate as to whether they will have a lot of tanks to, to really advance and stuff like that. Because it seems like they mostly have artillery and things like uh, not really defensive units. Like they do have some tanks but it doesn't seem to be all that much which I do find interesting. At any rate I'll drop another puma here. The elephant up here uh, one AA here, one A here, together with flak, some flak, another AA unit, one more AA, AA, train, train, King Tiger. And stuck. Okay, none of these can move either. Um, 
The only thing that can actually move is the recon that I dropped at this point. I think I can leave it here for now. It would be nice to link these two up, but it's yeah, I I don't say it's it's critical. It it would be quite useful there. Most likely this is probably empty. Let's take a look at that flag, by the way. Huh. It's pretty funny. But the most interesting is going to be the air unit. So let's drop you down. And... I mean, these guys, they're just gonna go and get it, like... Two. Three. Since there, there's just no way I can stop all of them. Like, hmm. In the city, it's a lot safer. And... I feel like I'll, I'll just have to experience the, the nightmare. For the first turn, um, these are all bombers. Oh, okay. Um, I guess stay there. And one, two, three, four. Question is, what do I want to attack? I mean, I can attack that twice, but. Hmm. Always good to put infantry forward. There we go. Doesn't look even that bad for now. These units are just getting trashed. wonder why they're going for that infantry so badly. Um, I don't think... It is going to be that useful.
Right, that's pretty impressive. Shooting this direction and goes the other way. That's pretty good. Yep, doesn't matter. There's the overwatch. Huh. Yeah, what are you gonna attack? Yeah, the infantry? Sure. Halder, our forward units bring grim reports. There are more and more civilians in the streets of Berlin. The eyewitness accounts are all the same. Men wearing SS uniforms are driving people out of their homes and forcing them to barricade the city's streets and squares. Does Göring wish to hide behind his own civilians, his fellow Germans? My, my. That man hasn't a shred of honor after all. No sane man should stoop that low. Gehring's sanity is an open question. You have cornered him, and he knows very well what awaits him if he loses. There is no low he won't stoop to. We need to try and minimize civilian casualties. After all, Germany is her people. General, Gehring's strategic bomber wings are due to arrive in Berlin. They will decimate our forces if you don't keep fighter planes on standby. I'm afraid this is only the beginning. Halder, let us not make decisions someone will regret. We are both officers and professionals, aren't we? Talk to me, Franz. I'm listening. I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but I remember clear as day that one thing had always brought us together, the world's masterpieces of art. For old time's sake, stay your hand from shelling the historical sites of this city, especially the Museum Island. Remember, you and I are both responsible for its impressive collection. I never intended to turn Berlin into a smoking ruin. I won't bomb the museums, unless you force my hand by hiding in one of them. Of course, of course. I knew you could be reasonable. On my part, I promise you the same. And remember, you gave your word. Huh. Preserve downtown. I wonder what his plan is. Um, avoid the civilian casualties. I wonder if I can surrender them, like whether that's fine. Uh, probably is. Like, surrenders without a fight if attacked in close combat. So if I can do that, then that, that should probably be fine. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up here. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Uh, but not before I give a shout out to my Patreon supporters. Moonra, Digipaster, C-Data, Swords, Mendigo, Tomislav, Trillian. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.